in this video i am going to describe in brief synthesis of chlorobutanol this video is prepared for undergraduate students so chlorobutanol structurally it is very simple small molecule and uh, its iupac name is 1,1,1 trichloro 2 methyl propane to all Basically, it is bacteriostatic and can be used as a preservative in few of the ophthalmic solutions, intramuscular injections. It has got sedative and hypnotic property and it is useful in motion sickness. So, this involved reaction between acetone, ethanol and KOH. It is very simple to look but it involves nucleophilic addition of a chloroform to the carbonyl carbon of acetone to produce chlorobutanol. So simply we can say that it is prepared by reacting acetone and chloroform using either KOH or NaOH in ethanolic solution form and as I already made mention it involves nucleophilic addition of chloroform to acetone. So mechanistically we will see what happens is when uh, ethanol reacts with KOH formation of potassium ethoxide takes place this potassium ethoxide when reacts with chloroform it abstract acidic hydrogen of an chloroform to form a carbanion and ethanol is regenerated so this carbanion which is formed as an intermediate it has got a carbon having negative charge means possessing excess of electron so it will share its electron to the carbonyl carbon Chemistry of carbonyl carbon we have discussed several times. So we know that carbonyl carbon is deficient in the electron. It is in a need of electron and that's why nucleophilic addition that is a pair of electron present on the carbanion will be easily shared to the carbonyl carbon to form a new bond between carbon of a carbanion to form with a carbonyl carbon. And in this pi electron will become migrated to oxygen so that unstable oxygen will form later on it will get converted to OH after abstraction of H plus ion. So this is how so this is how ethanolic KOH solution and acetone and chloroform reacts to form chlorobutanol. So methodology or procedure we could say uh, we have to transfer about 3.4 grams of acetone to absolutely dry conical flask to this we have to add about 1 ml of a chloroform then allow the resultant reaction mixture to cool in between the temperature 2 to 5 degrees celsius for 30 minutes then after cooling we have to transfer about 4 ml of ethanolic potassium hydroxide solution which is prepared by dissolving 0.3 gram of KOH into around 4 ml of ethanol after the addition precipitate will form that we have to filter it contains a wide precipitate of KCl as well along with the product residue will be there residue we have to wash with a little amount of acetone we have to collect the filtrate we have to evaporate it and formation of crude product will take place this crude product we have to recrystallize from aqueous ethanol mixture of water and ethanol so finally we have to report the result as I already made mention in earlier practical how to calculate theoretically so so this is how we have to report the result in this manner structure name of the compound formula molecular weight theoretical yield practical yield melting point reference melting point is 96 to 98 degrees Celsius and whatever practical uh, practically observed melting point will be there that one has to record and uh, one had to quote over here. So as far as the theoretical yield is concerned, I already made mention in earlier practicals how to calculate the theoretical yield by calculating the molecular masses of uh, acetone and chlorobutanol. We have to calculate the theoretical yield and whatever practically obtained yield is there that we have to write here and from that we have to calculate the percent practical yield. That's all. Thank you.